Some more questions on percentage. Let's see what is the first question. The price of a car is 3,25,000 rupees. It was insured to 85% of its price. The car was damaged completely in an accident and the insurance company paid 90% of the insurance. What was the difference between the price of the car and the amount received? So the insurance company paid 90% of the insurance. So we have the amount received is equal to 90% of insurance. So 90% of insurance. So that is 90 upon 100 times this insurance. Now what is this insurance? If you look at this statement, it was insured to 85% of its price. So this is the insurance. So this is equal to 90 upon 100 times 85% of the price of the car. And the price of the car is 3,25,000 rupees. So we have 85 so 85 upon 100 times the price of this car which is 3,25,000. So 3,25,000. So time to cancel the zeros. So this zero and this zero cancel this zeros and this zeros. And this one zero cancels this zero. This zero cancels the zero of 90. So what I have is 9 times 85 times 325. And that comes out as 2,48,625. Now what has been asked? What was the difference between the price of the car and the amount received? So this was the amount received. So the difference is equal to the price of the car which is 3,25,000 minus the amount received which is this 2,48,625. And that is equal to 3,25,000 minus 2,48,625 is equal to 76,375. So we have the answer as option C. 76,375 was the difference between the price of the car and the amount received. A batsman scored 110 runs which included 3 boundaries and 8 sixes. What percent of his total score did he make by running between the wickets? Well, let us first find out how many runs did he make using the boundaries and sixes. So runs using fours and sixes is equals to he made three fours. So three times four plus eight sixes. So eight times six. So this is equal to 12 plus 48 and that is equal to 48 plus 12 is 60. So 60 runs were made using boundaries and sixes and the rest of the runs will obviously be made by running between the wickets. So runs made by running between the wickets, let's say them as runs between the wickets is equal to the total runs minus the runs scored using boundaries and sixes. So 110 minus 60 and that is equals to 50. So 50 runs were scored running between the wickets. Now we have been asked the percentage of his total score did he make by running between the wickets. So 50 runs out of 110 runs. So 50 by 110 times 100 will give you the percentage. So this is equal to 500 upon 11. Let us divide 500 by 11. 11 fours are 44. What remains is 6. This 0 comes down. 11 fives are 55. Again, 5 is remaining. So the run scored are 45, 5 by 11 percentage of the total score. So the answer is option B. A fruit seller had some apples. He sells 40% apples and still has 420 apples left. How many apples did he originally had? So let us consider that originally the fruit seller had X apples. So he sold 40% of those apples and still has 420 apples. So 420 is equals to 
the total number of apples he had which is x minus the number of apples he sold and he sold 40% of the apples so 40 upon 100 x so I can solve this and get the value of x so 420 is equal to I can write this as 100 x upon 100 so as to make the denominator equal upon 100 and 100 x minus 40 x gives you 60 x this 0 and this 0 get cancelled out so I have x is equals to 420 times 10 divided by 6 and 6 times 7 is 42 so 6 times 70 is 420 so 700 is the total number of apples that this seller had so option D in an examination 35 percent of the students passed and 455 students failed how many students appeared for the examination well let us consider that the total number of the students those appeared for the examination as X so the number of students passed and the number of students failed if we take the sum of them if, if we add them we will get the total number of students so X will be equals to the number of students passed and the number of students failed so the number of students passed are 35 percent of the total students so 35 upon 100 X plus 455 students have been failed so plus 455 so I can write X minus 35 upon 100 X is equals to 455 I can write this X as 100 upon 100 X so the denominator is common so I have 100 in the denominator 100 X minus 7 minus 35 X gives you 65 X is equals to 455 therefore X is equals to 455 divided by 65 times 100 which is equal to 700 so the total number of students is 700 who have appeared for the examination a student has to obtain 33 percent of the total marks to pass he got 125 marks and failed by 40 marks what are the maximum marks so let these maximum marks be X and the student has to obtain 33 percent of the total marks to pass so I have 33 percent of X is equal to now this person or the student has got 125 marks and failed by 40 marks this means that if he had got 40 marks more than 125 which he currently got he would have passed that means the passing marks are equal to 125 plus 40 so I can write the passing marks as 33 upon 100 X which is given is equal to 125 plus 40 now I can solve this for X and get the value for X so X is equal to 125 plus 40 will give me 165 times this hundred comes here times 100 divided by 33 so 3 times 11 is 33 and 3 times 3 5 is a 15 and 3 5 is a 15 and again 11 times 5 is 55 so 5 times 100 is X so 500 is the value of X that means that means the maximum marks are 500